The table shows the elevations of five objects compared to sea level. Notice the elevation is in feet, and some of the elevations are positive, and some are negative. A positive elevation indicates an elevation above sea level, a negative elevation indicates an elevation below sea level. We are asked to complete the table below where we list the objects from closest to furthest from sea level. And when we talk about the distance from sea level, the distance is always going to be positive. To get a better understanding of these elevations, let's plot these elevations on a vertical number line where sea level has an elevation of zero. Looking at the vertical number line here on the right, Notice here is zero, this would be sea level. And then we have two positive elevations, two and 24, which come from the duck and the bird. And we have three negative elevations that come from the turtle, the fish, and the shark. And again, our goal here is to list the objects from closest to furthest from sea level. Well, notice how the elevation of negative one is one unit from sea level, or one unit from zero, and the turtle has the elevation of negative one, which means the turtle is closest to sea level. We list the turtle first in our table. So the elevation of the turtle is negative one, or negative one foot, but the distance from sea level is the distance negative one is from zero, which is one foot. Again, the distance from sea level, or distance from zero, is always positive. The next closest object has an elevation of two, which is the duck. So we list the duck next. The elevation is positive two feet, and the distance from sea level is also positive two feet. Next we have an elevation of 24, as well as an elevation of negative 35. 24 is 24 units from zero, or from sea level. Negative 35 is 35 units from zero, or from sea level which means the next object has an elevation of 24, which is the bird. Again, the elevation is positive 24 feet. The distance from sea level, or distance from zero, is also positive 24 feet. Next is the object with an elevation of negative 35 feet, which is the fish. So the elevation is negative 35 feet, because the elevation is below sea level, but again, the distance from sea level, or distance from zero, is always positive. The distance from sea level for the fish is positive 35 feet. And that leaves us with the elevation of negative 52, which is 52 units from sea level, or 52 units from zero. And this is the shark. So the elevation is negative 52. The distance from sea level, or distance from zero, is positive 52. So the idea of distance from sea level, or distance from zero, brings up the absolute value of a number. The absolute value of a number is a number's distance from zero. To indicate absolute value, we place a number between two vertical bars. So if we wanted to determine the absolute value of these elevations, we would have the absolute value of 24, the absolute value of negative one, the absolute value of negative 35, the absolute value of positive two, and the absolute value of negative 52. Each of these absolute values are equal to the number's distance from zero, and distance is always positive. The absolute value of positive 24 is positive 24. The absolute value of negative one is positive one. The absolute value of negative 35 is positive 35. The absolute value of positive two is positive two. And the absolute value of negative 52 is positive 52. Again, the absolute value of a number is always positive because the absolute value of a number indicates a number's distance from zero. I hope you found this helpful.